Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I wanna do a comparison between the two best free AI image generators or AI art generators. In particular, we've got Blue Willow here. And then if we go over here to Microsoft Edge, we're going to go and look at uh, the Bing.com image creator or the Bing image creator, which is powered by Dolly. So Blue Willow and then the Dolly 2 powered image creator. Now I've got Bing.com open here uh, on purpose because it's not always easy to find the image creator. So when you go to Bing.com, simply click on images. And when you do that, you're gonna get a whole bunch of different images here. Oh, hey, I see you, Chris Hansen. <laughs> you're not gonna catch me, buddy. Um, no, you get a bunch of weird images here. And then if you click on this little uh, uh, pinkish gradient over here on the right side, you get the image creator. So you've actually gotta go down a couple levels to get to this free image creator. Once you've done that, you'll see it says image creator powered by Dolly. The reason why I chose this is because this is free and you can get a hundred images a day or so. And then after that, it just starts to slow down. And Blue Willow, well, Blue Willow, you can just get as many as you darn well feel like. So you can go absolutely ham on these two. Uh, there is a third, ver there is another good program called Leonardo.ai. However, I'm not including it in this because right now, uh, it's there's wait list to get in and you have to sort of you know you, you get a certain number of credits where these are unlimited so do keep that in mind Leonardo AI is a good one but you have to get into it and right now they're kind of gating it so we're gonna go with these two now before I go any further I want to show you a couple of other things quickly here this is the discord um, this is a link I'm gonna put it in the description below but Blue Willow, in order to use Blue Willow, you have to go and add it to your Discord server. It's done through Discord. So just click on this link. I'll put it in the description. And that way you can add to your server. Now, uh, to Discord, pardon me. The other thing is if you want to add Blue Willow into its own server like I'm doing here, so I'm not kind of going through all those hundreds and hundreds of pages of Blue Willow stuff like this here, like you just see stuff just blasting nonstop through here you can go ahead and do that. I have another link to get you there. So there you go. Got that preamble out of the way. There's two links in the description to skip all that stuff. Okay, let's get into the good stuff. Okay, so as I'm just looking here at Image Creator, I mean, these are absolutely fantastic images. Like this is extremely good. And one of the great things about Dolly 2 here, or the Dolly powered Image Creator is it's really come a long way. It used to be quite a ways behind mid journey and, and other ones but i mean now it's almost caught up if you ask me maybe it even has in the last uh, few weeks so anyways um let's get going i'm going to go over here to google chrome and the first thing i want to show you is i created a random ai art and ai image prompt generator reason why i did this is because i don't want to just punch in uh prompts that i think are going to be good I want you guys to know that I'm picking random stuff and it's just, you know, stuff that should be equal to both. So I'm not trying to pick prompts that are going to work good in one and not good in the other. So here we go. So this one is the create a surrealistic cityscape that combines a blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's, let's roll them. So we're going to go into Discord. I'm going to go back to my Blue Willow. So you'll see here, it's just me and Blue Willow. And then to run it in Blue Willow, Blue Willow all you got to do is go forward slash imagine copy and paste in the prompt. When you do that, it's going to run. It says, exciting prompt, stay tuned for results. Okie dokie. All right, we're gonna go back to Microsoft Edge in this little uh, search bar it looks like, but I'm gonna type the prompt in or I'm just gonna Command V and paste it in. And then I'm gonna click on create. And let's see what we get. Yeah, look at this, the prompt has been blocked. Okay, so Blue Willow is winning automatically because of this, this is nonsense. Uh, I mean, unless there's something in here that I don't populate this scene with mythical creatures interacting. Let's read the prompt, actually, because this is a very serious thing. Create a surrealistic cityscape that combines elements of Renaissance architecture with futuristic technology. Nothing bad so far. Populate this scene with mythical creatures interacting harmoniously with robotic beings and include a giant tree with neon leaves as the centerpiece of the city. So what in the heck is objectionable in this. This is nonsense. So this is a major, major strike against uh, the image creator by, powered by Dolly. I am going to report this for being crazy nonsense. Um, yeah, thanks for the feedback. No, hey guys, sort out your nonsense here. Okay, so I mean, what could even mythical creatures interacting harmoniously? Is that some sort of euphemism for something? You know, maybe it shouldn't be doing? 
I don't know, guys. I'm going to give this a 0 out of 10 for the first one. All right, so uh, Blue Willow wins the first one by default. Let's see what it came up with. Here we go. Okay, these are really good. Uh, I kind of like, well, I like all of them, actually. But let's go with the top left one because there's a person in it. So if you like one of them, you can just click on the U button. It goes U1, and that basically means upscale. So I've just asked it to give me an upscaled version. So a nice bit higher res version. And if I want to click on it, bang, here we go. So here's what it looks like. And if I want to keep it, right click save image and it's mine i'll put it in my downloads folder that's all there is to it so anyways blue willow wins the first one by a mile uh bing i don't know what you got going on there guys but uh you better not get too super uh uh snowflakey or this is just not gonna work for you so anyways let's go back and run the second prompt so i'm gonna start the second prompt right now and i'm gonna start with this one so I don't even know what it says, but I'm going to click on create and let's see if it runs it. Oh, it's running it. So maybe there's nothing uh, not good in this one. Underwater world, bioluminescent plants and animals coexist. Okay, nothing there. Mysterious ancient temple hidden with a deep sea cavern guarded by colossal marine creatures and, inter and intricate aquatic robots. Oh, I guess because they're not interacting harmoniously, it's going to let it go through. How nice of you. Okay, all right, so it's, uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, let's go back to Discord. I'm going to go forward slash imagine. Uh, if I could just type, I'm going to type it in there, and bang, we're going to run this one here as well. Let's go back to Microsoft Edge and see what we got. Okay, so this one ran, and if I click on this, now I'm not going to lie to you, this is really good. Wow, look, okay, look at that. Now, okay, so bioluminescent, Plants and animals, uh, this is fantastic. So, okay, so if I want to keep this, I could just click on the download button, and presto, it's going to download it for me, and I can open it. But I actually am running this in, uh, you'll see here I'm in Microsoft Edge, and that's not an accident. And the reason why I'm doing that is because there's another hidden feature that not everybody knows about. If you right-click on the image, and you go down here, you'll see a bunch of things which you can explore, but the one that I want to bring your attention to is edit image look at this i can now crop it i can make adjustments to it brightness exposure contrast i want more contrast let's say i want less highlights more highlights i mean you see what's happening here you basically get a really i want to saturate it even more even though it's really saturated um i, I can make adjustments on the fly if i want to apply some of those uh, instagram filters and i want it to be like a basic uh, basic, you know, oh, never mind. Um, or if I want to mark it up, like if I want to put like a, like, let's say, I don't know, maybe I want a black pen and we're going to make it a thick black pen and I want to point out like, hey, what the heck, something like that. And I want to draw on it. This can all be done inside Microsoft Edge. So this is a very cool feature for it because you can't really do that with Blue Willow. So I do want to point that out, but let's keep going. So all in all, amazing looking artwork i'm not gonna lie this is these are really really good okay let's go back to discord and let's see what we got with uh blue willow and i mean these are good but if i'm being blunt they're not on the same level as that dolly 2 image generated stuff like granted this has more of that you know landscapey uh maybe 18 1900s uh painting effect versus you know the other one which is kind of more a new <laughs> neo modern style perhaps on uh google edge but or pardon me with uh, microsoft edge but yeah it's it's quite different there so image creator is going to take the second one by quite a margin let's do another one here envision a dreamlike landscape where floating islands are interconnected by a network of crystal bridges okay populate the islands with a mix of human animal hybrids okay and sentient plants living in harmony with steam-powered machines and holographic animals holy hell Okay, this is going big. Now, you'll notice here that there's a human-animal hybrid, so maybe this is going to offend the sensors over here at, uh, at uh, Microsoft Bing, and they're going to have a little bit of a, a hissy fit over this. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, okay, let's go back to the image creator. Anyways, let's see what happens. I'm going to copy and paste it in, and let's see if I get reported again. Come on. Oh, we got through this time. All right, we got through on the, sec on the third one, and we're going to do the same thing over here and paste them in and then see what we get now i think dolly version over here works really really fast okay hey these are already done holy smokes those are fast okay so this is really really good holy smokes 
Uh, I mean, this kind of has a painterly look to it, but damn. I mean, okay, so like this is like borderline video game quality. Um, I mean, look at this. I, I mean, uh, yeah, amazing. Let's go back to Blue Willow, see what we got out of Blue Willow. Okay, these taking a different style here. So I'm going to upscale or uh, take a, you know, I'm going to make them a little bigger. This well, what the heck is the prompt here? Islands interconnected by a network of crystal bridges. Okay, so this is pretty darn good, but I'd have to give the edge to the dolly over there through the image creator on Bing. So anyways, guys, I could go on and on forever. I'll do one more. Imagine French bulldog reading a book, and then I'm going to do the same thing because this is a simpler prompt where we've done a little bit more, uh, you know, involved prompts. So let's go and do a simpler prompt. Um, let's close that and let's do French Bulldog reading a book and let's see and then we're just going to stay on this to see how long it takes for this to run and you'll see here that I'm slowly dropping my number down from 100 to I guess 96 we're going to go to 95 uh, bang okay so here's a bulldog reading a book I click it on this one that looks like a realistic bulldog in my book like that I mean in my book of course pun intended uh, this looks pretty good this is quite good. This guy's a little bit mopey, but good. And mopey, but good. Let's see what we get in Blue Willow. Okay, Blue Willow has done a pretty... Well, this book seems to be suspended in the air. Blue Willow's given us a bunch of different styles, cartoony styles. This is, uh, you know, a little bit more of a, like a Pixar-y style here. So I like both of them. They're both very good. But at the end of the day, it's, it's up to a couple things. One, it looks like the image creator um, for on, on Bing.com there, the, the Microsoft image creator, so-so, it's not that good for, for um, you know, prompts in terms of accepting prompts. It, 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 it basically neutered us for no good reason. Uh, Blue Willow has a variety of different looks, all pretty good, but mm, I would have to give the edge to the image creator over there on Bing. But again, depending on what you're looking for and what you're going for, they're both quite good, but uh, yeah, Bing wins minus the uh, censoring. Thanks for watching.